this is the InMotion V10, which is an electric unicycle. And although this thing does look pretty strange, it's actually really cool. So to go 43 miles on a single charge, it has a top speed of 25 miles an hour, which doesn't sound very fast, but when you're riding this thing, it feels very fast. It weighs about 45 pounds, so it is a little more on the hefty side, but some of the cool features that it has, has a headlight up front that you can toggle on or off by holding the power button, has a brake light in the back, as well as the side lights up, and you can do different variations and colors. I'm personally running in the stealth mode right now, but this front light is actually really bright and you're very capable of doing night rides with this light. It has a speaker right here that Bluetooth directly to your phone, and it's actually very loud and it makes riding this thing so much more fun. And one of the main reasons why I chose this exact one is because it's capable of riding up hills up to 30 degrees, which looks something like this. This thing is a little tricky to ride, but here, let me show you. Okay, so I just realized I need two hands to be able to show you all this, so we're gonna do it this way instead. So first off, obviously you wanna power it on. Just do that by holding the power button. It's gonna tell you how much battery life you have as well, and now it's gonna be self-leveling. So to actually ride this thing, what you're gonna do is put your foot on the pedal, and you're gonna lean forward to go forward and backwards to slow down. So there's no reverse or, oh, see, music's connected. So there's no reverse or backwards, anything like that. That's just the brake. And then you just lean forward to go forward. And then under this handle, there's actually a little button here that when you pull this in, it kills the motor. So this is what you're gonna wanna do when you get off so that this thing doesn't go autopilot and take off on you and hurt yourself or possibly even someone else. So like I said before, this thing's kind of tricky to ride, especially if you're just learning. So how I typically do it is I'll put my left foot on and hold it against the side just for some more control. And with my right foot, I'm gonna use that to push off. And while I do that, I lean forward with my ankles. And this way, this gives me momentum and the speed that I need to keep going. And I know it sounds super counterintuitive, but the faster you go, the easier it gets. And it's just one of those things that requires a little bit of practice. And once you get it, you're ripping. So the best part about this thing is you can consider it like an all-terrain vehicle. You can rip the roads that we were just ripping or you can rip some dirt roads. Some people even go as far as jumping these. Oh. <laughs> it does get a little sketchy sometimes though. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. Gotta be careful. It's a hefty 45 pounds. Woo. So how much does this thing cost and should you get one? This thing comes in at around $1,600 for this exact model, but there are other versions as well. But like I said before, I love this one because it has the power to make it up the steeper hills, which is all over where I live. And is this worth it? I would say absolutely. This thing is so much fun to rip around. You can go on night rides with your friends if they have an electric scooter or even this thing. And one of the nice things is it doesn't require your hands to ride. So you can vlog, you can be on your phone. I mean, I wouldn't advise that, but you can use your hands for whatever you need to carry things so that makes it super helpful when you're trying to get things done or it's just a really fun toy to have a couple of things I don't like about this is it's super hard to set down as you guys have seen and they just need to really figure out a better way to do that because yeah it tends to just fall over so you're better off just laying it down honestly because it's very tricky to get it to stand upright like this so you have to regulate your tire pressure in this and I've noticed if you have it too high and you're going pretty fast you will start to get a little bit of death wobble which gets pretty sketchy pretty fast uh, luckily I haven't fallen over yet, but I've been dang close a few times. So that's something to keep in mind. Check your tire pressure, make sure it's running right. And honestly, other than that, this thing is so rad and so much fun to ride. And if you wanna check it out, I have a link below and I do get a small commission if you purchase off that link, which does help support the channel and keep making these vids. So I'd appreciate that. And other than that, you're awesome if you made it this far and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.